everyone, this is Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. And if you just found my YouTube channel by accident, uh, I invite you to go to my website, BibleProphecyMan.com. And when you're there, you'll be able to download my documentary uh, on current events in Bible prophecy for free. And this, the, this is the latest edition, October the 28th of 2011. Now, what I'm going to do is get into uh, some incidents that have been taking place in the news in relation to uh, one of the wars that haven't been fought yet. I've been giving a lot of videos on this in the last couple of weeks, and I'm going to continue to do it because there's a lot of activity going on. And there's a lot of fear being generated in the Middle East that Israel may attack Iran. Now, in chapter 11, I have the chapter entitled, Invasion Against Israel. And in this chapter, in my book, I'll show you exactly who the Lord tells us will be attacking Israel in the last days. And you could take a look at the names here. And if you take a look here, as I said yesterday in my video, you'll see that Persia, which is the Old Testament name for modern-day Iran, which obviously today will incorporate uh, uh, parts of northern Iraq and Afghanistan as it was in the Old Testament. So we know that for sure Iran is going to play a major role in that attack against Israel during the last days. And you can see the arrow here in this old map uh, heading towards Israel. And then we see uh, Magog, Metesh and Tobol, which actually comprise of modern-day Russia, and the scriptures do tell us that the attack will come from the northern quarters, and that's where Russia is. So what I wanted to show you uh, in relation to this is what's going on now, because Israel has been warning that they're going to, uh, you know, giving signals that they're to be attacking uh, Iran, and that uh, the casualties would be less. So e just the fact that they're talking about uh, not too many people being killed is an indication that the, the war will be happening soon. The Telegraph today, November the 9th, says this, that Israel believes it could carry out strikes on Iran with under 500 civilian casualties. Uh, Ewad Barak raised the prospect of a military action with Iran once again as he hinted that uh, splits in the international community over imposing sanctions regarded as crippling enough by Israel could leave the Jewish state with no option but to take matters into their own hands. And I've been warning people for year, years that this is, was going to happen because nobody was going to really go in and do anything about Iran's nuclear weapon. But uh, the Jewish nation, who has been under threat by Ahmadinejad for years, saying that they, he wants to wipe the nation off the face of the map, they would have to actually do something to stop Ahmadinejad says the warning came as the report by the UN weapons inspectors into Iran's nuclear activity was made public, concluding that the Islamic regime is closer to building an atomic bomb than ever before. Mr. Barak conceded that the price of airstrikes against Iran would be high, with Iran retaliating by firing long-range missiles at Israeli cities his cities and encouraging its allies, now get this, uh, the Hezbollah and the Hamas. Now both of these are mentioned in the Psalm 83 war and that war will actually happen before the Ezekiel war, the one that I'm talking about now. But this is really important because we've been seeing news just about every single day that if Israel attacks it will cause the Arab nations to attack Israel, and essentially that's what God told us in Psalm 83. It says, but he insisted that claims of huge destruction in Israel were overblown and that the country could survive retaliation. And then he goes on to say that there is no way to prevent some damage, he said. It will not be pleasant. Uh, there is no scenario for 50,000 dead or 5,000 killed. And if anyone set or stays 
uh, in their homes, maybe not even 500 dead. So again, just the mere fact that they're talking about uh, how many casualties they're going to have is an indication that they're definitely going to attack. Now, keep in mind that they will be coming against Israel. In the scriptures, in Ezekiel tells us that Russia will lead the attack. And in my book and in my uh, live presentations that I've been giving ever since 1977, I've warned uh, since that time that Israel would be alone uh, based on scripture. And as you can see, November 9th, Russia rules out new sanction or new Iran sanctions over nuclear report. And in my book, in this chapter of Ezekiel, the war coming, you'll read that uh, I have warned on many, many occasions that uh, Israel obviously will be alone and that Russia would not go against its ally because in this chapter I show you the agreements, military, financial agreements, trade agreements that Ra Russia has made with Iran. And it is actually Russia who is building the nuclear power plants and they have given them their uh, you know, scientists to do uh, the building for this nuclear weapons plant. So there's no way that Russia is going to go against Iran. And especially we know from the word of the Lord, if God showed us that Russia will be coming uh, and leading this war and Iran will be coming with them, the, the news that we're seeing right now is a precursor to that war that is coming. So let, let me go back to one of the other uh, documents that I show you in my book and I've reported on it, but this just to you know drive the point home. Now in the Asian Times, and you'll get this, it took place in October the 26th of 2007. I show you here what Russia stated if there was an attack on Iran who is their ally and they do have these military agreements. It says, the barely reported highlight of the Russian President Vladimir Putin's visit to, to Iran from the Caspian Sea summit last week was a key face-to-face -face meeting with Supreme Leader Hayatollah Khomeini. The high-level diplomatic source in Tehran tells the Asian Times Online that essentially Putin and the Supreme Leader have agreed on a plan to nullify the George W. Bush administration's relentless drive towards launching a preemptive attack, perhaps a, a tactical nuclear strike against Iran. An American attack on Iran will be reviewed or viewed by Moscow as an attack on Russia. So you could see how Russia has linked themselves uh, to the hip with Iran. And I believe that this is one of the reasons why the United States is kind of hesitant, hesitant to go in after Iran. And just recently, if you go back and watch my video yesterday, November 8th, Barack Obama has backed off because he's saying that it is too late, uh, the sanctions really aren't working, and because of financial reasons and the crisis in the United States that he is now backing off uh, on his uh, rhetoric about attacking Iran, which tells us that Israel will have to go alone. And essentially what we have here is a road being paved to the Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39, both those chapters talk about the Ezekiel War that will be taking place. So look for it in the near future, but what I really believe is going to happen, and if this is the first time that you've come here, I believe that what will happen is Israel will definitely make an assault on Iran, and then there will be retaliation, but the retaliation will not come from the uh, Iranians, per se, is a, is a oh, complete nation, but their allies that border Israel, uh, and that, w again, would be those nations of uh, the Hezbollah, Lebanon, Syria, and all those different nations that are mentioned in the Psalm 83 war. So this is what we should be looking for. The word of the Lord is coming uh, to pass right before us, and I just pray to God that you're ready. And the only way that you can be ready is to be in the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ and have him as your Savior to save you.